Clover Cluster series. As you see, I'm on node 1. It is activated. The domain controller is also up. We'll start a new installation, another machine. Using the ISO. Let me just pause this. You don't need to see the uh, serial number and the name. The name is going to be administrator. Keeps picking up the name of the PC. Um, just going to pause this for a second. Put in the uh, serial number. Now, just for the sake of simplicity, I did use the same password on all these machines, and it will be named Node Two. Forty gigs of space. That's enough for what we need, and. It will power up and commence installing itself. Neat, right? Okay, so while Node 2 is installing, we can begin configuring the failover cluster. And what I usually like to start with are um, I like to make the um, IPs static and to do that you've got to go to a command prompt and use the command IP config to get the facts you need forward slash all is a switch that gives you all of the possible parameters under IP config and we are going to need this IP address and this IP address we're not going to put in that because it will no longer be a dynamic host control protocol server we're going to make it static DHCP is what we want to get away from alright so let's open up the network center we're on node 1 right click that don't get confused when you're in VMware it's you're close to the other symbols down in the bottom right corner just make sure you're on the right one open the network and sharing center for that virtual machine click on advanced whoops sorry need uh, change adapter settings and right click go to properties highlight IP version 4 because that is what we are configuring and this is where we will enter the info right now it's getting it automatically and dynamically and what we need is the IP address of our machine what we do is we put it in and it stays permanently that IP address it is static 1192.168.59 period 130. You gotta hit the period to move it ahead. When you tab down the subnet mask it automatically fills in. Tab down again to default gateway. That's the dot two, 192, 168, dot 59, dot two. Now the preferred DNS server, I'm gonna put in the dot two temporarily, but it's not gonna be this it's going to be the IP address of the domain controller dot two now we have a static IP and for all intents and purposes this will work identically as um, before except now it is static and not dynamic oh so uh, while I'm here I might as well start um, adding other software you open up um, the out-of-the-box page, the configuration tasks, initial configuration tasks. If you close this, the way to get it back is you go down to Start, Run, and type in OOBE, out-of-the-box experience. And that gives you your list of initial tasks. Now, 
we're going to go to add roles because we're going to have to add a couple of things to this. We've got to add Active Directory so that it can join the uh, Active Directory domain. And there are a few uh, requirements that it will also add a few dependencies .NET Framework 3.51 and while that's installing let's go to DC. The domain controller likewise we will begin to uh, configure it all right, so we will want to open the initial configuration page for that. Node 2 is at 78% decompression. Node 1 has finished installing Active Directory services. Good. Let's go here. Let's add roles. We're going to have to put Active Directory on this as well. Next. requires requires .NET 3.5, yes. Let's see where Node 2 is. Just finished. It's going to restart. Add the required features. Next. Next. Install. Okay, I'm going to pause it. Okay, Active Directory is installed on the domain controller. Good. <coughs> and node 2. Let's log in. Okay, node 2 is activated. That's nice. Let's go back here. Node 1, domain controller. Let's, I like to change the names of the computers early on before I forget. Go to advanced. Go up to computer, right click properties, go to advanced computer name, computer d description, domain controller, and we will change just the name, which will be DC. Keep it short. Okay. Must restart. Okay. Apply. Restart now. Okay. Same thing. I want to change the uh, name, computer, right click, properties, advanced, computer name. This will be node 1. Change. That's just the description. This is the actual computer name. Don't be confused by that. We're not changing the domain just yet. just to get it out of the way maybe I'll um, advanced computer name node 2 change node 2 okay takes a minute because it's not running with the full resources of the whole computer. This, Each one of these is running on one gig of RAM and one processor and it's a four processor machine. 
log in, right click, Dawson, whoops, click inside to activate it, Dawson, control alt to get back out, node 1, control alt, delete, Let me check how much time I'm taking up here. Four minutes. Let me pause. I've got approximately five more minutes I can work with before I will cut this video. It's got to be 15 minutes for YouTube. All right, so I changed the name of the domain controller. I've added Active Directory, and what I will do now is attempt to promote this to a domain controller. Go to start. Go to start, run, and just type in the command DC promo. It's DC promo dot exe. You don't need to type in the exe. Welcome to the Active Directory Domain Services Installation Wizard. Yes. Not advanced mode. Go yes. It is not an existing forest. This will be creating a new domain and a new forest. Next. What name do we want? We will call it a plus dot local. Let's log in node 2. Generate one nine nine nine. Whoops. Gotta make sure to click in there. Control Alt to get back control of my Okay. Set forest functional level. You can set it for a Windows two thousand uh forest level, two thousand three, two thousand eight. We're gonna do two thousand and eight R two because we will be installing SQL two thousand and eight R two on this also. We'll keep everything as recent and modern as possible. Control Alt. It's logged in. It's logged in. Let me check this. Computer properties advanced. Oh wait, you know this actually. Um, yeah, it says the name right here under properties. Node two work group. Okay. As you can see, we're installing the DNS server, and then we get an error message. And why do we get it? This computer has dynamically assigned IP addresses. Yes, the computer we use an IP. No, I will assign a static IP. Okay, so we can stop here, and we can. This is what I was telling you about. We have to assign static IPs, or it doesn't like it. So what I'm going to do is boom, boom. Okay, so as you can see, I ran win I, our IP config all, got the information, put in the DNS server, or the gateway, I mean. The DNS server will be itself, and uh, the alternate DNS is for the internet here. And I don't need that anymore. And we can continue this now. As you see, it, a delegation for this DNS server cannot be created, blah, 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 blah. just means that it's the first one. Do you want to continue? Yes. Accept the defaults. Put in a password. Make it the same password as the uh, administrative. And next. And then click off Reboot on Completion. This will now install the domain controller.